Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman, and Tony Barnhart from our College Football Today studios here exclusively for CBSSports.com. The Big 12, fellas, claims four of the top seven spots in the AP Top 10 with Oklahoma and Missouri at one and three, Texas at five, Texas Tech at seven. But the real intrigue is near the bottom of the poll. Last week, we posed the question of just how long would it take before a one-loss but glamorous USC would jump over unbeaten BYU? Question answered, fellas. <laughs> Did not take long. It's already happened, Tony. All I know is I'm looking at those teams from the SEC, Georgia at 10, yeah. Florida, Auburn. This, what about us? What about us? <laughs> what has USC got that we ain't got? Well, uh, one thing they ain't got is that they ain't got a lot lost to Oregon State. That's what they're wondering about. <laughs> yeah. Well, wow. I think this conversation is going to come back, obviously, to USC making that jump. Relatively weak schedule. Big picture thought here. I'm wondering when will the relative weakness guys of the Pac-10 catch up with them? For example, they're playing Arizona State, who's lost three straight. Okay, yeah. that was probably a key game for them before the season started. But where are they going to get any strength from when you go down their schedule? There's no one there. They're comparable. BYU's schedule is comparable to USC's. Well, yeah, and the, the, the Mountain West is 6-1 and one against the Pac-10 right. for That's crying right. out loud. Doesn't seem to matter. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's all about the branding, the brand name. And we showed you the AP. What's even more reprehensible is the Harris Interactive poll, which yeah. does count in the BCS equation. They're number seven. Number yeah. seven. Tony. Well, the thing about the Harris poll is they really, don't, in my opinion, a lot of times they don't start paying attention until it gets serious yeah. towards the, the latter part of the year. Mm -hmm. So I am very curious as we get into late October, as mm -hmm. we get into late November, does it shift and what Spencer's talking about when the relative strength of the SEC goes up, yeah. the relative strength of the Pac-10 goes down. Yeah, but you believe strongly that there is a ceiling for, for teams that oh, like yeah. BYU. And, and I've been loving on the Mountain West. Trust yeah. me, I've been loving on the Mountain West. But the problem is when you look at BYU and you look at what happened to Hawaii last yeah, year, they right. went, in the, went in the Sugar Bowl, played Georgia, got their doors blown off. Right. I think people are going to be very, very careful as to how, how they put up BYU. Mountain West fans, I know you're mad at me, yeah. but that's just the truth. Well, right. there's no question there is a ceiling. And back right. to the point that you were making a few minutes ago, look at Tulsa. Tulsa leads the nation in scoring points. <laughs> how, All are right? not, yeah. how are they not even ranked? Right. Right. Yeah. Tulsa's not even ranked right now, so. Right. That's an untenable situation. Yeah. You hit it on the head. They don't start paying well, attention to Harris folks <laughs> until about midway through well, the let season. Me, let me take it a step further, okay? And people <laughs> might say, ah, you're loving on the SEC again, you hack, Brando. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Auburn is 14 yeah. in the Harris. Vanderbilt, who beat them and becomes bowl eligible if they beat Mississippi State today, they're 19th. So Vanderbilt is, is just like BYU. They're not a brand name. Right. Therefore, they don't get propped up. That's exactly right. And again, when I look at the SEC, I just think the strength is going to kick in. You can't do, can't tell me that a once loss SEC team is going to finish behind USC. No, I think it's going to happen. Brand name. Dare brand they brand ever name. lose. <laughs> Dare they ever lose SC. And you watch Ohio State's going to be joining very, very soon. Remember, we'll be with you Saturday afternoons throughout the season on the College Football Today.